Right, well, I hope this is recording. What I'm doing today is a painting. Uh, I'm going to... This is a voiceover on top of the video I'm going to make, and I've got to make it last for about seven minutes. Whether I can do that or not, I don't know. So it's a painting about the weather. It's a painting, I don't know what I'd call it, uh, a rainy day at, at the shops, something like that. I've just made it up out of my head. It actually took me 14, nearly 15 minutes to paint it. And I've sped it up to about seven, just over seven minutes. So that's, this recording has to be about that length. So here's something I wrote a little while ago, which is quite relevant to this conversation. It's actually a load of nonsense as usual. But here it goes. It felt a bit warmer today. The weather, I mean, not any particular part of my anatomy. I said that last bit because when I stated that it felt a bit warmer today, some of you might have misconstrued what I meant when I used the word it. So just to reiterate, what I am talking about is the weather, not my willy. <laughs> Hope I have cleared that up for you. Those of you that did misunderstand, the rest of you can just carry on as normal. Although my willy did actually feel quite warm. I'm calling it a willy so as not to offend anyone by using the word penis, which in my mind would be entirely inappropriate. Oh, not nearly as inappropriate as some of the words I thought about using. Oh dear. I expect you're now thinking about those words. Yeah, that's right. Those were a couple I thought of. However, I insist on maintaining standards. It wasn't actually that much warmer. Although I did at one stage around midday remove one of my jumpers. As it turned out, this was a mistake and I quickly put it back on again. When I say quickly put it back on, I didn't strictly true because one of the sleeves had got twisted inside out and trying to free it whilst having one arm on my head stuck a few seconds and quite a lot of swear words well it took longer than normal that's what i'm saying the weather's deteriorated now and it's got cold again not only that but the wind has got up and the rain is pissing down i just went outside and can confirm that the rain is very cold to my way of thinking the rain in april should be warm do you remember that song? Drip, 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 little April showers. Da, 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 da. Something like that. I forget the rest of the song. Not that it matters. It's a rubbish song. But there was a bit in it about the rain being warm in April. Maybe not. I might have entirely the wrong song. There's another song. April showers are for the very young. La -de -da -de -da. Or something along those lines. It's obviously a song for youngsters. Though why that should be is beyond me. Maybe the bloke who wrote it didn't like old people, or perhaps it's because old people shouldn't go out in the rain. They might get pneumonia or fall over in the wet conditions. You never really know with the old people. Come to think of it, I can't remember seeing an old person out in the rain lately. It used to be a common sight once. I can recall old ladies walking about with see-through plastic raincoats. They had clothes underneath them. And those little folding plastic hats <coughs> they used to protect their perms. We're Mr. Stewart perms these days. Anyway, you don't see these, these old ladies about anymore. Probably something to do with plastic being out of favour nowadays. It is, you know, out of favour. I get some really black looks when I'm carrying my shopping home in a plastic carrier bag. What about old men? I hear you say. Well, they take shelter in the nearest pub. Or they would, if there's any pubs left. But no elderly man would ever be out in the rain. 
At least not since men's raincoats went out of fashion. Now they've got away these brightly coloured cagoules, I think they're called. I don't think you'd see an old man in a cagoule. This, um, what I'm talking about, was going to be about global warming. But I was a bit sidetracked, as usual. I do believe that global warming has been officially debunked and is now known as climate change. Of course, that's only because they can't bear to admit the truth. Just change the rules and you can carry on as before. Did you know that this has been the coldest winter in 30 years? Just made that bit up. I don't know if it has. Global warming my ass. Talking about my ass, well, actually all asses, whether human or animal, they are responsible for a lot of the greenhouse gases that have made a hole in the ozone layer, apparently. So, next time you break wind, you can blame yourself for a lot of the damage, if it exists, that is, which it doesn't. Otherwise, keep on farting, blaming it on the dog. That is, if you believe the nonsense about the hole in the ozone layer, they whoever they are, seem to have gone a bit quiet about the ozone layer since climate change came into fashion. I'm really proud of what I've just been talking about. Sounds very learned. I might submit it to the Royal Geographical Society. I do think these words deserve a wider audience. But well, there you go, look, I've done nearly seven minutes. I'd better stop, otherwise it will all go pear shape again. Thanks for watching and listening. <laughs> Thanks for wasting your time. Bye.